my god, it literally smells incredible. It's like the size of my head. It tastes exactly how I remember it. Hello, beautiful people of the internet, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cornelia, and I've been in recovery from anorexia for about six months now. I have, with my dietitian, established, I want to say, like, three safe options for breakfast. But I also know that I have a lot of breakfast fear foods. And I'm sick and tired of being limited by anorexia's rules. So for the next five days, I will be challenging a new fear food for breakfast each day. But at this point, honestly, it's more unhealthy for me to not be able to eat them than it is to actually eat them. My little brain just needs to get that in there. My plan is to gradually build up throughout the week. And let me tell you, there are some things that scare the living crap out of me that I'm gonna be having at the end of this week. <laughs> so today we're starting with Nutella. I used to love Nutella and I wanna be able to eat it again. And with the things I have planned throughout the week, I wanna have this alongside that. So we're starting with it. I've gotten comfortable with peanut butter and occasionally Biscoff, but I know that younger me had it for breakfast all the time and back then it was never an issue People have Nutella every single day. Nothing bad ever happens to them and they're not less morally equal than anyone else I need to get that into my brain <sighs> I can do this. My bread is toasted slightly burnt. If I wait out, that's just getting into anorexia So I'm gonna free spread it. Oh, uh, this looks like a lot. I don't know. I don't know how much is like too much and how much is too little. You know what? I'm just gonna put however much little me would want. If my brain tells me that it's too much, it's probably the right amount. Anorexia is whack, man. Just saying. I feel shaky. But it's one step closer to freedom, so we're just gonna eat it. Alrighty. Ah! <laughs> it's just Nutella. Okay. I'm gonna have this piece first, I guess. It tastes like childhood. It tastes like being a kid. Whoa. It tastes exactly how I remember it. And I know that little me would have loved this. So why is current me not allowed to enjoy it? And even if it does make me gain weight, so fucking what? If not eating this and gaining that little extra weight means that I'm stuck in anorexia forever, I'd much rather gain the extra little bit of weight. I don't ever want to miss out on Nutella again. The yogurt is nice too, but I have this often, so. I just had Nutella on toast. I just did that. That was cool. And you know, I didn't put on too much Nutella because I wanted it to be nice. Like what's the point of having Nutella if you can't even taste the Nutella? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be able to start incorporating Nutella in my everyday life now. Now I just need to figure out when I'm doing it again. <laughs> and it's just gonna get exponentially harder from this point on. We got this. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for another breakfast challenge. I got this. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to another day in my kitchen. And another fear food. If you couldn't tell by the pan, today I will be making pancakes. I said it would get progressively harder and it is. And I got this because I'm a bad bitch in recovery. We got this. too thick so I'm gonna add some milk. For a little bit of pizzazz, an extra flavor. Vanilla sugar, a little bit of cardamom. Let's go to the stove and make this pancake party happen. I'm gonna be a bad bitch and add butter to the pan. My hands are shaking. That seems about right. I have mad pancakes. spreads so I'm gonna try on these pancakes. It's a little bit overwhelming. I used to have it with Nutella so I feel like I have to do Nutella. And I also know that I used to love it with lemon curd and this is a jam with lemon and elderflower and they all sound so good. I'm gonna taste some of them and if that'll make me decide. That is one, two, three, four, five, six pancakes done and I will now go eat some of them. Don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a pancake. Pancake time. I'm actually relatively calm right now, but it definitely helps that I had Nutella yesterday. I'm just gonna put however much little me would want. I think this is about right. Maybe a little less, I don't know. Okay, here's too many more pancakes to come.
That genuinely tastes so good. Wow. Oh, I didn't know breakfast could taste this nice. What the living? And it's actually not that bad. In my mind, I'd made it up to be this massive big deal. And yesterday I was sure I was gonna like have full on meltdown and breakdown, but I'm not. It's actually okay. Time for number two. I wanna do this one now. And if you do jam, it's obligatory to do sugar as well. We used to do this all the time when I was a kid. So we're doing it now because that's how you eat a pancake, with sugar and jam. Here goes nothing. I can't even explain how good this tastes. Whoa! I wanna have pancakes for the rest of my life. When you think about it, the only real difference with this and eating bread is that I added butter to the dough. What's the big difference? I don't quite know if I should have another one and I don't wanna leave like half a pancake. If I'm in doubt, that probably means I should have another. So I'm gonna have another. I wanna do the orange thing. I'm gonna do pistachio butter. And I don't give a crap ton about the calories and the spread. This would be really nice with Nutella and the orange thing. Should I add both? I'm gonna do that. Look at me. This is a fuck you for the past two years of you brewing for me. This is so unreal. This just can't be beaten. I'm sorry, life is way too short to miss out on this. What the actual? I just had pancakes with Nutella. I wanna scream at the top of my lungs. Oh my God. What? What, what, what? You're allowed to enjoy challenges, okay? I know so many people feel bad, including myself, because you see people doing these food challenges and crying their eyes out. But you're allowed to enjoy your challenges. That's the point of doing them, because you want to be able to enjoy these foods again. You're not any more sick just because you cry over a meal. And you're not any less sick because you enjoyed doing these challenges. My eating disorder is no less valid just because I don't cry, and neither is yours. Be proud of yourself and be proud of how far you're coming in your recovery. So, two breakfasts down, three to go. I will see you tomorrow. I'm challenging not just sugary cereal, but cereal in general. This is called Shokela, chocolate and hazelnut flavor. I got it in France back in April when it was the Easter holiday, but I just haven't felt ready to try it out, but I'm never gonna be ready, so now's the time. Also, I free poured and I free poured the milk because I wanna be 100% free from anorexia. I don't wanna weigh out an amount because that's not how I'm gonna get free from anorexia. And I'm gonna have my cereal now. I always feel like, I don't know, on the first bite. I can do this. I'm also being a cool girl and eating with a regular spoon. No more teaspoons for me. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I made it up to be this big massive tasty thing and it's good. It's just not like a flavor explosion, but little me would have loved this bowl, I know that. So I'm making it up to her. And cereal is such a convenient breakfast food. So I wanna be able to have it more often. Not every food has to be the most amazing thing that you eat, you know? Food is allowed to just be convenient. I'm gonna drink the milk. I'm gonna go distract my mind. And I will see you tomorrow for another breakfast challenge. Today it's Friday and I'm challenging croissants. All right, let's go to the bakery. We got this. I haven't challenged pastries yet and apart from it being a fear food, my eating disorder has this weird rule that I'm not allowed anything from a bakery. But there is a first for everything and that's gonna be today. I have challenged bread and cake multiple times, but for some illogical reason, getting it from a bakery is just not an option in my mind. It's just like there's a big red cross over the word bakery. No, 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 not for you, girl. It's actually really nice to see my town wake up like this. I'm not usually out this early, but obviously to get breakfast, you have to be out early. And it's really really calming. We're coming up to the bakery now. Yay I honestly don't really know when and why this became a rule. There's literally no thought process behind it It's just like no bakery. No, no, no not for you missy But being able to enjoy bakery items I know it will open up a lot of doors socially so that's about to change. My heart is like racing right now but I got the croissant so time to go home and eat it I'm excited nervous but excited
It's massive. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> Well, guess I'll be having a massive croissant. It literally takes up the entire plate. I'm also just gonna get some yogurt because one croissant is definitely not enough for breakfast. All right, let's go eat. I'm shaking so much right now. Okay, whoa. Take a deep breath. This is for the past three years that you've ruined for me. I can do this. Whoa, that's buttery. This reminds me of summer holidays. This brings back a lot of memories. I used to rip them apart like this. <laughs> I think I'm starting to realize how much more than just energy food is. It's memories, but not just the memories that you create while you're eating the things. It's also all the memories it brings back. I feel like with this week, my life is opening up a lot more. And I'm realizing how illogical a lot of my thoughts are around food. A part of me knew, but a part of me also did not know. If you'd have told me two months ago that I'd be eating all these things within the same week, I'd have laughed straight in your face. I'm going to be able to try fun new pastries now. Like, it's obviously still going to be hard and difficult. But now that I've taken the first step, it's going to be a lot easier. Last little piece. I'm really proud right now. I feel like I have little to no disordered thoughts about this, which is so odd, but I don't. I think I've proved to myself a lot these past four days that these things that I fear are so irrational because nothing bad has happened in the past four days. Four challenges down, one to go. Tomorrow's a big one, but I got this. I will see you tomorrow for the last challenge. Good morning. Today it's Thursday and it's the fi- No, it's not Thursday, whoa. Today it's Saturday and it's the final day of my five day breakfast challenge. Today I'm gonna have one of my favorite pastries from my favorite bakeries, which also means that I'll be challenging the bakery thing again. I really don't wanna do this. But it's gonna be one step closer to getting my life back pre-eating disorder, so we're gonna do it. Um, let's go to the bakery now. Alrighty, I got the cinnamon roll. I have been home for a little bit now, cause I, yeah. I just have to do it. Yes, I am listening to my recovery playlist. Oh my God, it literally smells incredible. Look at that pastry goodness. I'm really trying not to panic because I want to enjoy it really badly. And I know if I get too anxious, I won't enjoy it. And I'm also gonna get some yogurt because one cinnamon roll is definitely not enough for breakfast. This feels so daunting. But I gotta do it. feels really odd. It's almost as if I'm not in my own body right now. It tastes incredible, but right now I just think I'm too anxious to really take it in. She's doing it! Look at me go! Eating a cinnamon roll even though I'm anxious as fuck. <laughs> I'm eating proper pastries. I've saved the best for last. The center. So kind of me, always thinking of future me. You know, once you get over the initial anxiety, it's actually not too bad. I've nearly had an entire cinnamon roll and not just any cinnamon roll, this specific cinnamon roll. Your girl just did that. And now I've had five new breakfast fear foods. I actually did it. Apart from just having the cinnamon roll, I had five days of new fear foods for breakfast every day. And I proved to myself that absolutely nothing bad happens. And I'm still standing and I'm still living. And I'm just gonna repeatedly challenge them until I'm no longer scared of them. So yeah, I did that. I hope this shows you that absolutely nothing bad happens when you eat your fear foods. They're not gonna harm you. Not any more than an eating disorder will. And also that once you get over the initial anxiety in the first bite, it is actually possible to enjoy these foods even though your mind is telling you no. I hope you know you're capable of more than you think you are. I at least proved that to myself this week and I actually did it. Five days of five fear foods. Mind-blowing. Thank you so incredibly much if you've watched this video all the way to the end. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and also thank you to everyone who has subscribed and followed along for the past three weeks. I feel so incredibly blessed and thankful that I have this many people supporting me through my recovery. So thank you and I will see you soon. All right, you take care of yourself now. Yeah.